Here's what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna say, I'm Leo, and I'm Evan, and we're the owners of Y Sun's Deli. Okay. Right. So, so I'm Leo. Do <laughs> no, that's not it. Wait a second. Wait, how do you want to do it? I'm Leo. But you said you didn't want me to do it that way. Right, you get to finish the whole thing. Oh, okay, got it. Ready? Yeah. Well, he never learns. <laughs> I'm Leo. And I'm Evan, and we're the owners of Y Sun's Jewish Deli in San Francisco. And today, we're gonna make a corned beef Reuben. All right, so in order to make the corned beef, we're gonna start with our ingredients. First, we're gonna take about 20 grams of brown sugar. Every take, home kitchen has an eight quart eight, container eight, of lying course. around. I just take your, your grandmother's eight quart. About 80 grams of white sugar. You sure that wasn't the salt? I, I tasted it. 20 grams of honey. About 100 grams of sea salt, this isn't the sugar. And you want to use sea salt or kosher salt? It doesn't matter, that's the beauty of going by weight. All right, we're gonna take about five grams of garlic. I like to cook like everything, like a pinch of this, a little bit of that. Maybe I'll use like cups and tablespoons and Leo's like always grams, always, always grams. He's the baker, so. So getting back to grams, about five grams of coriander, 10 grams of pickling spice. So pickling spices, dry chilies, cinnamon sticks, crushed bay leaves, mace, mace, uh, more coriander, mustard seeds. And this is the trick right here, this pink salt, which is a curing salt. And uh, we're gonna put 20 grams into here. And what's nice about this is that it's gonna keep your meat nice and red, even once you cook it. So you're not gonna get the gray cooked kind of blah, meat. It's gonna be hot and red like corned beef should be. We'll take our very, very hot water, 1500 grams, and that's gonna make sure that all the salt and sugars get mixed into the water. Sounds like you're peeing into the container. Evan's gonna mix that up together. We'll get your Boy Scout badge for this later. It's very hot. And then because it's so hot, because Evan really started the fire in there, we're gonna put ice in here. Equal weight water to ice, right? Right, put the ice in and that makes it so that the liquid and the brine is cold before we submerge the beef into there and that way it's gonna cure and not cook. All right, so we're gonna take our brisket here. Uh, this is the flat portion. So you'll see you've just got like the fat cap and then the beef underneath. This is gonna be much easier to work with as opposed to the whole brisket. You want to make sure your meat's the right size for your container so you can get it in there. And in this case, we got lucky, so. So we're going to take a plate. You want your plate to also be the right size for the may container. May not fit. We have something smaller in the cabinet. That's cute. Here, have a bowl. Have a bowl. Famous last words, Leo. Make sure it stays submerged. So now we're going to take this and put it in the fridge for about five to 10 days, depending. What's it depend on? Your mood. I'm feeling good. God, my fridge smells like my girlfriend's kimchi. Not an innuendo. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> All right, so. So it's been about a week, right? It's been about a week. Let's, Let's see how it's done. At the restaurant, we'll steam this up strawberry in a big like steamer box. Um, but if you're cooking it at home, you can just throw it in a pot of boiling water. Evan's gonna put the, what is now corned beef. Some extra pickling spice you wanna throw in there? Sure. And then uh, I'm gonna pop open the beer. So what we're gonna do now is just let this simmer, cover it, and it should take two to three hours until it's really tender. And uh, we're ready to slice it up and turn it into our corned beef Reuben. So now we're gonna make Russian dressing to go on our Reuben sandwich because a Reuben sandwich is really not complete without Russian dressing. You get about a half a cup of mayonnaise, and then an eighth of a cup of ketchup, and then we're gonna put in some relish. Russian dressing is not the same without that flavor. You wanna mix that for me, sweetheart? I was hoping you'd ask. Salt. And then now uh, we're gonna put one teaspoon hot sauce. I mean, really it depends on how spicy you like it. The next step then is to slice the bread. So we bake our own rye bread every day. So cut up two slices of that. While you're doing that, I'm gonna start toasting bread and some clarified butter. Gonna take some of this Russian 
dressing. You like a lot of sauce, right? We're making a hot sandwich, so the Russian dressing goes on when you start toasting the bread, because if you have elements of the sandwich that are cold, it's really gonna throw everything off. So we've got a couple pieces of Swiss cheese. The most important aspect of the cheese is that it's melty. So the next thing, I'm gonna slice up some of the meat here, uh, which we've trimmed up and made sure it's hot. You just wanna kinda go against the grain and cut it into thin pieces, and if it's super thin, that's okay too. All right, so basically you're gonna take all this meat and uh, layer it on one side. Right. So would you grab the sauerkraut to put on the Reuben? So you know what? Let's do the kimchi like we talked about. Oh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Let's, in honor of your the, fridge. So really, the, the sauerkraut on the sandwich is just kind of like a counter with its tartness, so kimchi will work, work actually really well. I mean, it's fermented cabbage. It's gonna work out just fine. That kind of looks good. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm not but gonna go crazy here, you okay? You hurry the fuck up, it's gonna burn. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Only a little burned, not so bad. If you would have moved faster. <laughs> if you would have turned the pan down a little more. That looks pretty good, actually. Duh, we made it. It's hot. It's all over the place. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> New menu item? New menu item this weekend, kimchi Reuben. Who knew? Thanks for joining us to make a Y Sun's corned beef kimchi Reuben. If you want to make this at home, just click on the recipe below. Right down there. And we'll see you again soon. Shalom.